I'm Bronte Thomas Bush. I have Mercator's disease and I'm an undergraduate at the University of East Anglia, studying film and television. So far, my university experience has been a longer one than planned, with me retaking a year, but a journey I still feel incredibly lucky to be experiencing. To start with, I had to plan. Before uni, I was studying part-time from home. This benefited me due to the fact that I had time to research into my near future, that being, that being going to university. I did things ordinary students may not have considered, such as going prior to campus to see how long of a walk my routes from my room to classes were, and if they included slopes or stairs, and also finding out which particular disabled benefits I could get to better my studies. I did this and more, yet I didn't comprehend how big of a difference uni would be, academically, physically or mentally. Getting there and meeting hundreds of new people was daunting. There were also some things I felt physically that I could not do, such as take part in tours. I was also scared of having to stop in front of people I hardly knew. Little did I know yet the empathy and compassion I'd find from other students. My freshers was a uniquely amazing and daring experience. A community I'd never experienced before, but within a week I felt tired and physically drained. Something which none of my friends seemed to understand. It felt like a smack back to reality. Whilst everyone seemed to be partying, some days I couldn't move from my room. I had to rest. At the time, it was beyond upsetting, but I realised I could do everything my friends were doing, I just needed more time and to space things out. After this, I felt much happier and lighter. I made sure early on to tell my friends in flat about my mercados, and whilst it was hard for me to articulate how I felt and what it was like, they were incredibly understanding. I felt loved and comfortable. The university were accommodating to my disability and situation. They put me in residence close to the popular centre of campus. I had an accessible room and they made my timetable so my rooms of study were close to one another, something I previously had difficulty with at high school. After November, I started feeling unwell. I realised this was Fresh's flu and after trying to continue at university for another two months, I was too ill and unfortunately had to drop out in February. During my recovery at home, and upon reflecting upon the previous year, I realised I had not been balancing my physical needs properly, in the process of trying to keep up with my friends and what they were doing. I knew I had to better be better prepared for when I went back. I started practising household tasks more and thinking about certain scenarios that may prove difficult to me. When it came to September, I felt a lot more ready, and as a person, I did feel like I had grown. This time around, I've been a lot more content and happy with my situation. I kept my friends from the previous year, but I've also found new and supportive people. I still benefit from planning ahead, but because of my previous experience at uni, this comes more naturally to me. Overall, from all of my experiences and struggles at uni, I've learned to never quit. Whilst it may take me longer than most, with trial and error, I can achieve just the same. I've grown a lot more positive about my circumstances. And I'm glad I retook my first year as it allowed me to experience more. And whilst my uni journey may take me longer, my achievements to amount will amount to more than just my degree.